G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran, welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Something by The Beatles, which is an amazing song. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the rhythm, but I'm also going to teach you how to play the solo on the electric guitar as well. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take the guitar to the next level, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. For the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning, and you won't need a capo. The guitar I'm playing in this video is a Cole Clark Fat Lady 2 with Elixir strings. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below. Let's start with the rhythm guitar. And we're going to start with the intro, which is just three chords. We have an F chord, and then we have an E flat. Now there's a few ways we can play this E flat chord. We can play it like a D chord shape, like this, but you just slide everything up one fret. And we're only going to hit the top three strings though. So that's one way of playing the E flat. Another way is by playing the fifth string bar chord like this. That's another E flat you can use. And finally, the third way you can play the E flat is like this. So you can choose which one's more comfortable for you, but I'm going to use this D chord shape E flat. And then our third chord is a G chord. Now the E flat and the G are just strummed once, but for the F, we're going to use a nice and easy strumming pattern. Down, 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 up. So if we put that together, the intro slash break sounds like this. Next we move on to the verse, and I'm going to use that same strumming pattern. Down, 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 up. For basically the rest of this song. There are a couple of exceptions to that, but I'll get to that later. So we're going to start with the C chord. We're going to play that for two strumming patterns. And then we have C major 7, so you just lift your index finger from this C major. We're going to play C major 7 for two strumming patterns, and then we're going to go to a C7. So it's the same as the C chord, but your pinky finger now comes onto the third fret of the third string. So that's C7, that gets played for two strumming patterns. Then we go to an F chord, and then for the next set of brackets, we have an F and a C slash E. Now, any time that there's two chords within a set of brackets, for example, this F in the C slash E, we are no longer playing the down, 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 up strumming pattern. For these chords, we're playing a shortened strumming pattern that just goes down, down, up. So one time for the F and one time for the C slash E. So it sounds like this. Down, 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 down. So all together for the first two lines of chords, For our third line of chords, we go to a D7 chord for two strumming patterns. And then we have a G and A minor 7. And again, we have an instance where those two chords are within one set of brackets, the G to the A minor 7. So those chords are played for the shorter strumming pattern. And then we go to a G slash B to end this line of chords, which is the same as a G, except we're not hitting the top sixth string. Our bass note is the fifth string. So the third line of chords. For our final line of chords, we're going to start with A minor, but we're actually going to play this A minor in a particular way that will allow us to transition to our next chord easier. So we're going to use our ring and pinky finger on the second frets of the fourth and third string, and our middle finger will go on the first fret of the second string. So we're going to play our A minor like that. And then we have an A minor major seven. So from this shape, lift your pinky finger and your index finger now hits the first fret of the third string. So that's A minor major 7, and then we have an A minor 7. So you just lift that index finger, and that's A minor 7. And our final chord is a D7. One strumming pattern for each of those chords. And that's it for the verse. So all together, it sounds like this.
That's it for the verse. Next we move on to the bridge, which is really easy. We have five lines of chords here. We're going to start with an A major chord. We're going to stick with that strumming pattern and we're going to play this A for two strumming patterns for the first line of chords. For the second line of chords, we stay on this A major again. And then we go to a C sharp minor bar chord. Then we go to an F minor bar chord. And then finally an A slash E. So, so that's the same as an A except you can hit the top sixth of the string. For our third line of chords, we have a D for one strumming pattern, a G for one strumming pattern, and then we hit the A and hold that out for the length of two strumming patterns. Now the fourth and fifth line of chords are identical to the second and third line of chords, except instead of going to our A and holding that out, we're going to the C at the end and holding that out. So in total, the bridge just sounds like this. And then for the solo section in terms of chords, we're just going to play the verse chords, which is really nice and easy. The only other thing we need to learn rhythm wise is the outro, which is pretty simple. It's just a combination of the break. So we have that F and then the E flat and G. And then we're going to go to an A chord for two strumming patterns. And for our second line of chords, we have that F, E flat and G, and we're going to end on a C chord. So the outro just sounds like this. Let's run through the lead parts and we'll start with the intro riff on the electric guitar. Now this is really easy, we're going to start with the 10th fret of the 2nd string and then we're going to go to the 12th fret with our ring finger on the 2nd string and we're going to have it pre-bent. You're only going to have it pre-bent a tiny amount though. Then you'll pluck it, release it, go back to the 10th fret, then we go to 11th fret with the middle finger, 12th fret and then we end on the 13th fret. So in total for the intro riff. Now at the end of the second verse when we play that riff going into the bridge, we're actually going to change that very last note. Instead of hitting the 13th fret and holding that out, we're going to hit that 12th fret and slide up to the 14th fret and hold that note out, which sounds like this. Alright, next let's move on to the solo, which is a lot of fun to play. We're going to start with the 7th fret of the 3rd string, hammer on with your ring finger onto the ninth fret, and then with your middle finger, 8th fret of the 2nd string, and back to the ninth fret of the 3rd string. Like that. Now that lick doesn't actually start on the 1 beat, it starts on the 2 beat, so 1 and 2. And then for our next bar, we're going to start the same way. So hammer on from the 7th to the 9th fret. Then you'll go up to the 12th fret with your ring finger. Bend that up. Keep it bent. Pluck it again. Release it. And then go back down to the 9th fret. So that bar. Now this second bar lick starts on the end beat after the 1. So 1 and... For our next bar, we're going to go up to the 12th fret of the 4th string. We're going to pluck this, 14th fret of the 4th string, and then 12th fret of the 3rd, hammer on to the 14th. Back down to the 12th fret, hit that. Then we're going to take our index finger, slide up to the 11th fret on the 2nd string. And then 13th fret of the 2nd string, twice. Then you're going to pluck it again and bend up and release quickly. So that bar in total, one. And... 
Moving on to our next bar, we're going to move our ring finger up to the 15th fret. Do the same thing where we pluck it, bend and release. And then go down to the 13th fret. And then end on the 14th fret of the third string. And so far for this bar. And then we have two sets of three notes. Our first set of three notes, we're going to, with our middle finger already on this 14th fret, we'll slide back to it. So move your middle finger down and slide back up to the 14th fret from the 12th, ideally. And then we'll hit the 13th fret of the second string twice. And you can slide out of that. And then for our next group of three notes, you'll take your ring finger, slide into the 14th fret of the fourth string. And with your index finger, 12th fret of the third string twice. And you can slide out of that as well. So those two sets of three notes. And so far we have this. For our fourth bar, we're going to start with the seventh fret of the fourth string. And then our next phrase is comprised of six notes. So ninth fret of the fourth, back to seven. Then we go up to the 12th fret with your middle finger. And then 11th fret of the third string with your index twice. And then go to the 14th fret of the third string. And we're gonna pre-bend this, hit it and release it. So those six notes. And so far. For this next bar, we're going to pre-bend this 14th fret again, pluck it, release it, and do that again. The second time around though, after you've released, we're gonna pull off to the 12th fret of the third string. And that will sound like this. Then after that, we're gonna hit the 12th fret again. 14th fret of the second and then hit the 13th fret and slide down to the 11th and then we're going to quickly slide with our ring finger up to the 17th fret and then 16th and 15th fret and in total for this bar For this final line tab, we're gonna to go to the seventh fret of the third string with our ring finger. You're gonna hit this and bend it up and release it twice. Like that. So bend up, release, and you do that twice. And then we go down to the fifth fret to end that phrase. The second time we do that, the bend and releases are a bit slower. The third time we do it, the bends are a bit quicker. And after you've hit that fifth fret, you take your middle finger and slide up to the ninth really quickly. Like that. You don't need to pluck it again. After you've hit that fifth fret, just slide your middle finger up to that ninth. And then we go eighth fret of the first string, 10th fret of the first, and you slide quickly up to the 12th. And so far. And then with your ring finger, come back to the 10th fret of this first string. Hit the 8th fret of the first string. And then hammer on to the 10th. Like that. Back to the 8th fret. And then 10th fret of the second string. And then total for that one. And then after that, you basically play the intro lead riff. So that's everything for the solo and in total it will sound like this.
So now I'll be playing through the song in its entirety and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thank you to my friend and artist by the name of Tugla for lending his vocals for this song. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to and see how you go. Thanks so much for watching guys, be sure to head over to GuitarZeroToHero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you want to take your guitar to the next level, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. It'd mean the word if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.